Hi everybody, I'm Joni Young and today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint these little flower fairies looking into a portal, a garden portal with some fantasy waterfalls, maybe a staircase. Um, this is on a 9 by 12 canvas, so you can use any size canvas that you like. And I've got the following colors, titanium white, blue violet, neon pink, yellow cool, cadmium yellow light hue, mars black, burnt sienna, neon violet, teal, and phthalo blue. I'm going to start the painting with a little bit of my blue violet and a number 30 filbert brush. Just going to go and brushing around the top and start to round it out. A little bit of white now. I like to add a little bit of white here and there so that I get some softer tones. Without washing my brush off, I'm going to take white and yellow, white, pink, and yellow uh, cool, the neon, and come down here, a little, little bit more white. Just going to start blending this in slightly to that blue. See where we get a little bit of yellow in there with the blue? It'll look a little bit green. Take a little bit more white now, and I'll just dab it, and then blend out a little bit more. So we can work these colors with a little bit of white into the blue and make a very soft, dreamy looking sky. I'm going to take a mop brush. This one's a one inch. It's a little bit wet, and I'm going to go into my cadmium yellow light hue with a little bit of black and I'm going to start tapping around the edges. Tap, 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 get all those edges covered. We're going to tap in some foliage now and gradually start to work our way up into this beautiful fantasy window or portal or whatever you like to call it. It's a little bit tricky to get the bottom of the canvases when they're tucked into the easel like that. I'll take a little bit more. I want to get the top of the canvas, so I'm just going to lift this bar up carefully and then just come along the top. I'm going to use one of my angle uh, mop brushes. You can use even a filbert brush if you want. This one's also a little bit, but I prefer to use it dry, but I've been painting for hours and I've, uh, I've used all of my mop brushes. So yeah, this one's a little bit wet, but we'll see what we can do with it. I'm going to take a little bit of white and my neon yellow cool and just tap it in gradually just to pick up a little bit of the color I used prior. Okay, when you get it just tapped into your brush, it's a little poofy like this. What you want to do for your highlights is line your brush up partially where you left off on those shadows and partially on what comes after, which is our sky here. So I'm just going to do that. Tap, tap, tap. Got some more paint.
lucky me, I did actually just buy my very last dry mop brush. This one's a round, it's a one inch. And I just reloaded my neon yellow cool. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that with a white and I'll start coming around here and adding a nice bright, bright highlight. And you'll notice as the painting dries, it'll look a lot darker. So all these highlights that we're adding will be a shade to two darker, which will be just perfect. Okay, so ready to start adding just a little bit more I'm going to push flat with my round brush and get more of that yellow on there. I'll add just a few little sections in here that look a little bit more like uh, little branches. We'll just add a few of these where it's a bit lighter in here. Really going to benefit from this yellow and accent that and it's going to look so pretty once it dries. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go over to my number nine filbert brush. It's a little bit wet. I'm going to take just a little bit of my white and I'm going to add some little rounded scoops in here and just wiggle little round shapes for some soft clouds. So just really simple. People have beginners always complain about their clouds and saying they have such a hard time. The more you paint, the better you'll get. You'll get skilled so much more quickly when you practice more. You'll just naturally loosen up over time and that's where you wanna be. You wanna be at that stage where you can feel a little bit loose and more relaxed when you're painting and you'll that'll come through in your paintings. Okay, so just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of white with my yellow. I'm gonna apply it right about here. Partially, partially over that peachy pink color. So to me, and I'm paint, just painting spur of the moment here and from imagination, to me this looks a little bit like a staircase, <clears throat> kind of like a stairway to heaven or some fantasy, other fantasy world. Um, so I'm going to trust my instincts here and continue along with that. A little bit of white, filbert brush, maybe a little bit more of that yellow, neon yellow. And this will be our widest step. Need a little bit of water to help loosen that off. Take a little bit of white. I'm not going to add um, a shadow underneath. I'm just going to make my highlights, make the rest look more in shadow and stand out. Straighten this one out a little bit more. Just 
that's really delicate, pretty looking. And I'm going to just take a little bit of white again on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to start up here and just curl around for a little railing. I want it to just disappear up here into the clouds. And take a little bit more white. And now I think I want to just come in and make a little flower type of fairy. So I'm going to take my white and from the bottom I'm going to pull some petals. Wiggle and then turn. Wiggle and then turn. So that'll be her little flower dress. Take a little bit more and add a skinny one, skinnier one coming around the side like that. And I'll take a little bit of black with some blue and that white. I'll come down on a little angle like this. into a V. Okay, these will be her, her shoulders. And then her arm. Neck. I'm just going to thin her arm out a little bit here. I'm going to have her with a little bit of yellow and white here. I'm going to have her hand kind of resting on Some little foliage here, maybe a little hedge or something. Okay, and then I'll add those, take those colors again. Now we'll just add a little oval here for her head. We're not going to see any features. She's facing that way. And we'll give her a little bun. It's always kind of cute. I'm going to switch over to my number two brown brush so I have a little bit more control here. Her other arm from that side maybe is right there. I'm gonna make a few more flower petals here. Make her dress come up a little bit higher. And then maybe I'll add some ruffles for a sleeve and then scoop down in the back.
and just come a little bit here around the side. Pull this around. I'm going to add a few little flowers in her hair. A little bit of pink or whatever color that you want. And I'll add a little bit to these petals. Just make her look really delicate. And a little bit of blue for some accent colors here. Just make a little bit of blue with my pink. I'll just go across there. And I'm just slowly adding a little bit more color. I'm just going to water down my brush a little bit here with some white. My brush has kind of got a little bit of that pink in it still, which is fine. And we'll just go out. A couple little wings like that. Kind of just like an almond shape. And then I'll take a little bit more. A little bit more white. Little hair on there. I'm just going to make these look a little bit more delicate. So by taking off a little bit more paint, it'll make them look more see-through. I can make another little layer here on the, just off on the ends. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and white. So maybe she's kind of kneeling here. So we'll see. She'd be kind of kneeling. So her knees would be here. Her bottom would be here. Maybe we could see a little foot there. Or maybe we could just leave it out. Gotta try. And 
add just a little pink, very thin pink over her wings. And I'm going to add just a little bit of burnt sienna to her hair. A little bit of black with that burnt sienna. A little bit of shadow. soften that shadow a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my white again and come in with our next layer of highlights on our stairs. As they get up here they're going to be closer together. in the sky. Just a few little lines like this to start and then I'll take a little bit of my blue and I'll go on the top like this and pull little little triangles and I come in with a little bit of white now right inside soften this blue here just a little bit. Still want this to look like it's uh, like just really faded back there in the distance. And then I'm going to just create little scoops like this with my white on the tip of my brush. Do the same on this side. And maybe we'll have some little waterfalls. And we can paint some pretty flowers around the edge here too. Maybe we'll make some more flowers, little daisies for our flowers. And I'll take a little blue with it as well. So it's that same technique, you're painting your petals from the bottom up to the top. Take a 
a little bit of that green and a little bit of black with my violet. We could make these little fairies too, why not? Kind of being led to do that right now. So I'm gonna make this one shorter. I'm gonna slightly scoop down, bring this down into a little point down and meet the waist. Little oval for the head. Little dab on the top for a bun. We'll just have her arms coming down. And same with here. Little V-shape to start. And then an oval. Let me just adjust that a little bit. little bun and her other arm will be coming down from the other side I'm going to bring the flower up here a little bit higher. I'm going to use my small filbert brush again because it just helps to make those petals pull on up. A little white, blue, and the pink or violet. And there's a lot of different options for your flowers. Choose whatever speaks to you. And then a little bit of violet again with a blue. Bring this down a little bit, some flowers, use more of the blue down here, whoops, not that much, a little bit more of the blue down here, for her wings, just something that's you know, a little almond, almond shape. I'm going to bring these down a little bit lower. Soften this. Just gently scumbling off a little bit of that color. Up again for a little dress, little ruffles, and then come down. I'm 
been doing things in threes lately when it comes to um, my figures. If you want to see more little flower fairies or figures, be sure to check out the link. I'm just adding a little highlight here with pink and white. Just coming around the side of, side of her face. We don't see any features. And I think her legs are just going to be in silhouette. It only it just makes sense. Take a little bit of white with my violet. I'll tap in some flowers up there. I'll take a bit of my teal with my violet. These two colors look really pretty together. Then I'm going to take my bird sienna, add a little bit to her hair. And a little bit of black with a clean brush. And I'm going to just go underneath. Gently blend this paint around with a little bit of water on my brush. Okay, I'm going to take my little round brush now, a little bit of white. Add some highlights. A few little lines in here. Water down. down here with a little bit of black and put her legs a little bit more in shadow. Back over to my white. I'm going to exaggerate these, the length of them. I'm just going to very lightly pull and wisp up. Pull, wisp.
Now with my little number two round brush here, I'm going to continue with my little staircase. Add a little bit more here to her her dress. All the final highlights here before I call this one done. Okay, well this painting is all finished. This was so fun and relaxing to paint. Hope you guys enjoyed it and want to paint along. Thank you very much for watching everybody and please subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!